Being in lockdown has removed us physically from everyone except our immediate family. Being in isolation has given us all a chance to rethink and reimagine our positions within the world. We want to ask, would it be ethical for us to return to how things were before COVID-19? Hey guys, uh, it's me again. I'm currently out here in National Park, going for a cycle to make the most of my day. It's a lovely day out, as you can see with the sun in the background. I'm here with a couple of my friends, making sure that we're social distancing from each other, but sure. Other than that, it's grand. Um, just enjoying the weather while it's good. Yeah, I'll see you later. We're currently in week two of social isolation. I'm currently out on a walk, just did some shopping. Life is kind of mundane and monotonous nowadays. Not much to do, but we have to make some sacrifices for the better of everyone. So yeah, just making the most of it, keeping active, keeping safe. And yeah, that's it. So um, I about to fall on the farm. I've been doing um, a lot of the time during this quarantine. You no, know, it gets, gets me out the house, so you know, it's not, it's not at all bad. Out in the farm again today. Just moving a bit of animals. Not yourself. Standard job. This is week three or four quarantine can't remember. Hello? I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good. I it's actually alright because you can bless the weather. But. What's wrong? Wish I had a rabbit in a hat with a bat. Just passing the time. 14 news at half eight. Here we go. Breaking news. I want to start by expressing my condolences to the families and friends of the three people who passed away today, uh, one of whom we understand was a healthcare worker. Before I do so, I want to also thank all of you at home for continuing to abide by public health advice. By doing so, you are saving lives and protecting our health service and its wonderful staff. Reality of the situation is they can't really come near because they work in a hospital so they collect stuff from our doorstep. Both are nurses in the hospital, UHK, one is my sister and one is... external environment is changing. Now, more than ever, we see the balance of life and death shifting. Can we go back to how things used to be? Tens of billions of dollars going in. President Obama and Joe Biden didn't do anything. China ripped this country off for many, many decades, and I stopped it. Then, of course, you had this horror show coming in. The, the plague. It came in. So now it's a different I think they made it personally. I think they made a horrible mistake. And they didn't want to admit it. We wanted to go in. They didn't want to stay. Even the World Health wanted to go in. They were admitted much later. They were not immediately. In my opinion, they made a mistake. They tried to cover it. They tried to put it out. They tried to fire. That's what I tried to put out today. They couldn't put out the fire. But they really treated the world badly on. They stopped people going into China. But they didn't stop people going into the USA and all over the world. So you could fly out of Wuhan, where the primary problem was. Yeah. Nazi Nazi Russia, and substantial China. reduction, not just in the number of outbreaks, but also in the number of deaths. So I want to stress to the House and also to the country that solving the problem in Kerr is going to be absolutely critical. Getting the R down, not just in Kerr, but across country, is going to be absolutely critical to our ability to move forward as a nation with a step program that I announced on Sunday. We must fix it and we must fix it. Today is Saturday the 28th of, uh, of March and it's the first day of the new government introduced measures coming into place. So basically from now on people can only go to work if their work is essential. They can only go for jogs etc. if it's within two kilometers of where they live. People have been told not to go anywhere basically it's on total lockdown. The global infrastructure was already shaky. 
and has been eroded further by COVID-19. One thing has become very clear, our ecological, democratic and economic survival cannot rely on the idea of infinite economic growth any longer. We need a new social, moral and political philosophy for living together. We should look for a way of existing in the world that focuses on being rather than having. And instead of allowing technology to remove us even further from the essence of our connection with the natural world, we should use it to our advantage by trying to generate a vision for a different kind of relationship to the world. We are attached to our previous generations through shared habitat and modes of habitation. We must look to both our future and our past generations. The use and abuse of the environment that we have seen cannot continue. We all have a part in determining what will be left for the future. Yeah. So, make the most of it. This new life that we have is so different from the past. It scares us, worries us. No one knows how long it will last. We miss our friends, our family, everyone in between. We try to keep our sanity and build up our routine. But this strong little island has risen as one to fight off this virus and get back our fun. We banded together to get through this quick. We followed instructions, we're not taking the mick. How proud I am of this country, I can't describe in this poem, but I've never been happier to call this place my home.